Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, welcome back to, uh, to, um, oops, sorry, to our princess, the Sir Graven. So, um, last time we, uh, to the fourth temple. It's been a while, I know. I don't know what the crap I had to do last time. <laughs> so, this time, now that we got a few shadow, we can leave the woods. I don't think there's anything we need to do right now. We'll be heading out, I guess, so. Let's do this. I'm sorry for the uh, long delay, guys, for this episode. I've just been really busy working. Actually, right now, this is actually a new TV. So, right now, for me, it's a little strange to uh, be playing this, you know what I mean? I'm going to just I'm gonna try and bottle up for my swing shot. No. Okay. I'm, not, I'm actually playing Xbox 360, so it's really weird to be playing this. I don't know if this, this might look a little brighter or a little... Uh, darker. I'm not really sure because my TV is a little different than my other one. I haven't really messed with the settings. Maybe I'll miss it a little bit next episode. You know, seeing as I need, I need to make the game a little darker so the the camera doesn't look so bright. And um, here he comes. He comes to me. Come here. Uh, but yeah. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? I'm so lost right now. I've like, been up all night long. I got, I got, I got done working like. Huh. Um, if you, if you kill an enemy right away and like, and you press like, you, you put your sword away, you can sometimes actually do this like cool little like, uh, move when you put away a sword. So, but he's not been doing it lately. So, anyways, how do I feel? Yeah, this game's really bright. I need to turn on the brightness a little bit. I'm sorry, might be behind a little bit. Um, this is on HD right now because uh, I only have a, I only have a, uh, a 480 for the cable. I don't, I should, I'm not actually using a HD cable. I use that for my 360, but this TV can actually do 360. I mean, yeah, God, that's like 720, but um, I'd rather not. <laughs> Just because it'd be weird. Uh, so it's so weird playing this kind of like level because I'm so I'm used to like the the uh, GameCube. That's what I'm used to. So. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get him to do that sword thing. He's not doing sword thing. Gosh, okay. Alright, if you come down here, if I remember correctly. And then, which tree is it? This tree? Yes, tree. This will be this little light thing right here. Um, it's, a little, it's a little easier to see in the nighttime, but in the daytime you can see it too. That is actually, all you guys use is this bright little blob on the screen. This is a beetle, or a bug. You can actually collect bugs. Bug fan, you caught, you caught a female, or that, I think it's a female beetle. That bug fans love the golden color. Check out caught bugs in the collection screen. So this, this actually come play uh, later in the game right now. It won't really matter. Okay, now I know there's one other thing around this place. You actually find a heart container. It's really easy. It's easier to find in the nighttime. So I'm mean, probably this nighttime's coming, so it's going a little bit for the nighttime. Because it's actually really harder to see in the daytime, which you, you know, it's like, what? Why is it harder to see in the daytime? Oh, there's that right there. I think that's it right here. Yeah, right there. Right there. Sorry. Right there's a glass heart. If you get your brewing out, target it. You can brewing. Boom. Piece of heart. Collect one more for another full heart container. Yes, that's awesome. Also, um, if you see a bug in one area of the game, like right now we're in Hyrule Field. Oh, yeah, we actually have, We're in Hyrule Field. I don't know if I even talk about that. Yeah, we're in Hyrule Field, guys. Oh, my gosh. Um, but if you look for bugs, um, like, you know, if you actually, like, swipe, um, I know this is a little brighter than usual, that's probably because, um, I'm playing, you know, on a different TV and brightness is a little more up, but anyways, um, oh, crap, not this weirdo. <laughs> Go no further, there is a black wall head that blocks away. I saw it a few letters, but it seems impossible. I'm not gonna even. He, he gets the squeaky voice. I'm an honorable and dependable letter carrier known, as, known to some as the Postman. Now that I've introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. He even got a little song there. To read a letter, press the <laughs> plus button to open your collection screen and select the letter. You can do that to read any letter you receive. Do it whenever you see fit. We'll draw another it again. <laughs> well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. You, you do that. Why does he go back to where he just came from? Like, seriously. Anyways, so now if you press the square button, the uh, plus button, you actually go see there's a. Okay, here's our bug things. We can, we can see how many bugs we have. There's like, uh, how many is there? Wow. Let's see. Six, four. There's 24 bugs in all. Two in a pair. 
You can actually find a pair and that will actually be important later on. We'll actually, we'll actually keep that point. But uh, yeah, look for the bugs. Um, right, uh, go back, I don't want to do that. So look for the bug right here. You can see these are the going bug found in the, the field. And fair and proverence. So if you go, now, this would be, so if you look for, if you're looking for the twin, it'd be in the, it'd be in the same place as here. So but that'd be the male one, and then you want to find the female, a male. And let's go back, let's go, let's look, you want to view your letters, go to this one, open it, and then you have one right now. So post office notice, the postman. Bad delivery mail. If I, if, if I have a letter for you, I will approach you at high speed. Please do not flee. <laughs> Please do not flee. Hey, it's coming for you. Yeah. I'd probably do that. Freak out, run away. Anyways, I know there's one more bug around here. Just a mail bug. I know it's, I think it's over here somewhere. They can't target. I know there's a bug. I know the, 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 the other bug is like around this part. I'm so used to the, the you know, bean keepers, and this might be a little weird for me. Trying to find the bug. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I do remember it's, it's like around the edge around here somewhere. What the heck is it going to target that for? Um, there's, a, there's an enemy right here, be careful. Oh, there it is, right there. No, come back here. Wait, it's right there. Wait for it. Yes, I got it. And there. Oh, wait, no, this is the female bug. Sorry, I got the male bug before. I don't know if it's very. This is, this is the female beetle bug, so the cone here, blah, blah. So now we actually have. We actually have all of them. He does not do that. Usually, put the, like in, in the game, if you do like, or, like if you kill an enemy and you, and you try to put your sword, he just does like sort of course little sword technique. If you do it, if you time it right. Anyway, sorry, we wasted enough time. I actually want to show you what that bug was. We're assuming it's into video and we have not gotten anywhere. So we need to get into this game. But gosh, sorry, I'm so guy, so guy, I'm so guy. I'm, so I'm so sorry we haven't got into this. But let's hope maybe we can get into the cutscene. Let's hope, let's hope we can get into the cutscene here. <laughs> roll, baby, roll. Roll like you mean it. Gosh, too fairy. Anyways, we're back in the back in another part of the Twilight Realm border. Hey, it was much closer than I thought. You remember, right? You know what that is? What this is, right? No, I don't remember. If you set foot in there, well, you guys, I don't know if you remember, it's been so long. If you set foot in there, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. Or at least as long as it takes for you to save the life of Elden from the twilight, anyway. So, shall we try to see that light spirit Elden? Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, let's do this. Want me to let you into the twilight? You can know, but I don't know why you wouldn't go back. No, we don't have anything else we need to do, so yes, let's go in. This is kind of a point of no return. You can't go back. You can't really go back until after. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I see too much I die. To see where this is going. <laughs> to know where this is going. Uh... <laughs> He's still wet from the rain. That's actually kind of cool. Because. <laughs> If you if you close your dog like that, you could, usually because you just got some water, but yeah, I didn't, that. he's we're wet from the rain. It's kind of cool. Anyways, that's a good boy. Now you need to listen to what I say. What I say from now on. Oh, look how lovely the black cl black clouds of twilight are so fetching today. I feel so much more at ease here. And look, you <laughs> it looks so much better like this and those dusty. Sorry, my my mouth is a little mumbly here. But like this, then in those dusty old clothes. Anyway, hee <laughs> hee. So let's get going. I don't know how much other time I record because the next one was daytime. When it gets daytime, my TV gets everything's getting weird. So I don't know how long I'll record. I'm gonna record as long as I can, just like so you know, start getting get, get some more episodes out. So, anyways, this first day of stuff. <laughs> the one for the tower used. And Creepy Little Mallow, and Little Slut, whatever her name was, Beth, and Colin. <laughs> you learn a use scent. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> See, isn't it being a whiff more convenient? Now use <laughs> the direction button to hone your senses. You begin to re re as a whiff, I think. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, I don't want to do that. I hate doing that. It's so annoying. That little hee hee. Anyways. Now there's little senses you can actually see where it's going. I don't really need to clear where I'm going, and I kind of want to see, you know, 
We're seeing there are anywhere more shy of bees here. Get the B button out. Oh yeah, you can't you can't you can't actually hold you, um, you can't actually hold the B button down for so long. You can be a little careful about the up front. Oh see, right there. I didn't do that, but it did, so. And we didn't get all three there, I only got two of them. Okay, so. There, ha, got you there that time, you freaking pricks. Boom, they're down to the count. They become a nice little portal for us. I mean, a uh, weird little thing, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's this? That's strange, the British gun. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. Ugh, what a pain. Ah, uh, well, let's, well, let's look for it. You, get your map out. <laughs> so anyways, now if you remember correctly, I pointed out something a while ago. The are marks where we are. You knew that, right? Whenever you destroy those dark beasts from the darkness, a portal opens that looks like the map. This little thing below. Right? You hear me? It's called a portal. Remember that, right? Yeah. And in those woods we come through, Yes, it's going to be around here. There. Use my power to take you to the garage. So for now, warp you from place to place. Only if you're in a twilight. You actually can't do that as a human. Remember that. Okay. Oh, I always remember. I guess. I think it's after the black thingy bar. So it should be over here. Yeah, if I remember correctly. So it should be north northern words. I sometimes don't forget. If you do forget, it's not actually that hard. You actually can just warp right back. You can actually warp the other point. But if I remember correctly, yep, it's right there. You can see, you can see the little nice little uh, cut thing there. Anyways, see, I told you, we're here. You know, most people can't leave the twilight that you eat. You better be grateful. <laughs> Jerk. So you drive off that bridge. Look hard. So anyways, now you, you go back for the place that you want. We actually know already where it is. So now we can... Wow, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Should we take it? You can use future minute or warp. Let's warp. Good obedient little, good little obedient wolf. So now we can go back here, go to the only portal that's in the uh, Elden Province. Kakariko Verge, Kakariko Verge, Gorge. My God, I can't speak today. I'm gonna move my little wee thing real quickly. It's getting, it's getting kind of annoying how I can't do that. I, don't, I actually don't have it. My TV is actually so small right now. It's actually much easier to move my everything around. So hopefully I can get this. I can get this thing moved here before I have to like you know. Okay, so now we're going back. Well, I, I, you know, I probably would be, I probably actually be much uh, farther than this had not had I not just dipped around at the beginning. Hopefully, I still have some time to get some stuff recorded for night and today, whatever. It's actually day right now, so <laughs> hopefully, some time so I can get some stuff recorded. I can't. I've been feeling really bad. I haven't got anything done. So, anyways, boom. It conveniently is placed right back where we're for. Right for. <laughs> You know, it doesn't look like it'd be very stable. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think it would be stable since, you know, you just got put right back where it was before, so. Anyways, see? Just as I thought. So, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help you find what you're looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's keep going. So now, so this actually be a nice little mechanic in the game. Um, it'll be a little more useful as, we, as, we, as the game progresses, so. But for now, let's just go with the game. So, now if you look in the sensors, you'll, go, you'll keep going forward. If you don't worry about that, we don't need to worry about that, or no, let's need to worry about that, but yeah. We don't need to worry about that. You do that. You don't need to worry about that. Okay, now if you want to, you can jump in on the attack. Well, I, just, I usually just hold down a B button and hit them, and kill them one hit, and you have to do it again. I love that little, that terrible little that you use a B button. Anyways, so we're here. Just... Weird little gate with looks like blood on the gate is what I'm thinking of paint. I don't know. I'm gonna hope it's paint. <laughs> Anyways, huh? What are they doing there? This is a pretty elaborate gate. What are they trying to keep in or out? I bet it's worth a while to dig in. Now I'm sorry guys, I know I didn't get much done in this episode and I could go for longer, but you know, there's gonna be a lot of cutscenes up the head and a lot more to do up ahead. So you know, let's just stop for now. And we're continuing off next. How you, how do you guys feel that? I know you guys, you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, see me, man. You you we haven't been you haven't been doing anything for like what a whole week or well, actually about two weeks. I don't know, about two three weeks now. I haven't done anything. Boom! I have to like I only like I, I just stick around most of the video. So I'm sorry about that. Hopefully I can I'll change brightness. Hopefully a little next video and then we'll continue off next time. So let's have a great man. Out and good luck.